Benadryl 400 milligrams. Before I talk about my experiences with DPH, I want to give a little info about my relationship with it. DPH has been a very common occurrence in my life. I began using DPH to help with my sleep starting at a very young age of around 7 years old and ending at 14. At my peak, I was taking around 5 to 6 25 milligram pills every night and felt like I needed them to fall asleep. Since then, I have stopped using Benadryl for sleep and have switched to melatonin tablets, which I highly recommend for people with sleep problems. Even though I have quit Benadryl for sleep, I still used it to trip every now and then. Okay, now let's start with the trip. One day around 4 months after my initial first DPH experience, which consisted of me taking 55 pills within 4 consecutive days, 8 the first day, then 12 second, 16 third, and finally 19, forgetting everything that happened in that time. I found myself before school wanting to get high, but woke up too late to smoke weed, and then remembered I still had a bottle of Benadryl. I decided to take 16 pills, which I knew I could handle, but weirdly, this trip felt different. I don't know if it's because I haven't taken it in a while, but this time, it felt more intense, and I can remember more of what happened. By the way, every time I took Benadryl, it was before school to avoid any creepy hallucinations I probably would have experienced if I was alone in my room. Period 1. I started to feel the come up and a general delirious feeling the first half of class. During the end of class, I was looking at the projector and it looked like one of those heat waves you get looking at the horizon on a hot day. It was all over the screen like gas was just floating on the surface of the wall. Period 2. At this point, my mental capacity had just shit itself. Just walking upstairs was a challenge. I remember clenching on the railing all the way up. When I got to my class, I was working on a group project in pairs, and whenever my partner would ask me a question, I would think of a normal answer, but when I went to go say something, all that came out was a yeah or I'm pretty sure, like my mind and mouth were fighting each other. At one point, it took me like three tries just to ask, what is your median pay, because I couldn't pronounce median. I was in business class. I was so delirious to the point where I felt bad for my partner because she had to do all the work since I was so far gone, I couldn't comprehend what I needed to do. As far as the visual side, when I was looking at the Promethean board, it had a very fuzzy reflection normally, but when I looked at the reflection of the big check that my class had won, which my teacher puts on all the walls, it looked like a pillow. And in the pillow, something was in it trying to get out shaking violently. And when kids would get up and walk around, in the reflection, it looked like their arms were moving all over, almost like they were dance walking if that makes any sense. That was pretty entertaining. There were moments where the reflections in the board looked like they were tilted and sliding right, but then back. This went on the entire period, with all my attention on the board just fascinated at the hallucinations. Recess to period 4. From this time, I had this inexplainable feeling of doom. The visuals went away, but I barely talked, and when my friends were talking, I felt bored and like nothing they said mattered to me. I was just a receiver of their thoughts, which was probably the most uncomfortable part of the trip. Period 5 to 7. At this point, almost all the effects have worn off, but in period 5, which was PE, when we were playing badminton, I sucked ass the entire period, always missing the birdie, which was strange because I was usually one of the best players in the class. I would say the rest of the school carried out normally, but the entire school day felt only around 3-4 to four hours. When I got home, I immediately fell asleep and woke at 12.30 a.m. the next day. I smoked some weed, then fell asleep again and woke up. At 7.30, I woke up and went to school. So I basically just got home from school, went to sleep, then went to school again having two school days back to back. It was definitely not enjoyable, but it was a really interesting experience to say the least.